Alhamdulillah. Now even their pastors are proving the Muslims right now. Uh, the reason why sometimes I throw those conversations is because I found a Muslim criticizing Christmas from a historical perspective. And he said, believers, you don't know your history, you don't know your God, you don't know what you believe in. And of course, all these things began when there was an alteration of the calendar because the ancient Jewish festivals used to be celebrated under the lunar calendar, which has 30 days. But you study the history, the calendar we use is called the Gregorian calendar, which is a Roman calendar. That's why we have 365 and a quarter day. I've never lived a quarter day, but the deception of science makes me believe they are quarter days. So because of that, when you parallel the lunar calendar and the Gregorian calendar, many Jewish events don't fall on the place. But by adoption of the, of the Gregorian calendar and adoption of Roman culture, we begin to discover that Christmas had nothing to do with the birth of the Messiah. It was a celebration of the sun during the equinox where the sun will disappear on 24th and that's where the concept of Mary came from, that God has slept on 24th. And so people knew they can now become violent. You can do anything because God is asleep. And then God will wake up on 25th. And those who live in the poles, it is always winter. But on 25th, they enjoy the sun on his strength. So it was the celebration of the rising and the resurrection and the birth of the son, but not the son of God. And now you begin now to get the history and the story of 24th God is asleep and many people celebrate 24th. That's where they drink because the spirit of the day is still available. You'll be surprised. Christmas is celebrated globally. In fact, it's the leading a holiday globally. Many of the Christmas trees we are buying, they are made from China. They don't believe in Jesus. But on Christmas, they will put their trees and they will put... You remember Santa took over Christmas. So even our children don't anticipate for Jesus. It is about Santa. And Santa was given the red garment by Coca-Cola because early in the 50s, they discovered what a day to sell Coca-Cola. So now they came, they decided to rebrand Santa from green and they gave him red garments. Please, these things are in history.